Hey man, welcome to True Backstage and Road Stories. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to pull the pass. So here we go. And y'all wonder if any of y'all are wishing it would be a certain pass. I don't know. If you wish that or if you don't, but it'd be kind of cool if you did. I'm just saying. And I got my pass. Let's see who it is. Let's see. It's Austin City Limits. That's a venue in Texas that uh, a lot of country or a lot of artists, period, play at Austin City Limits. They they do a little show and they film it and put it on PBS station. I think PBS is the one that still carries it. I'm not sure, but I think they are. So... You know, Austin City Limits was a great little place in, in a, of course, Austin, Texas. And, you know, there are some things I need to tell you about what, you know, a lot of times you set up and you don't have anything to do till catering, till dinner time, or, you know, after lunchtime, you, you finish focusing the lights, you do all that, so you don't have a lot to do. And sometimes at these gigs, like, well, they already have like a state fair or something. They already have a lighting system there. You you pre-advance the show and you tell them what colors you want and what they send you. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not <laughs> like it is today where you could just say, okay, here, let me email you a plot of what the lights are and what they look like. And here, no, back then it was like, yeah, you we had faxes. So they could fax you like a design of what the lighting looked like. But on the shows like the Austin City Limits though, you know, the the equipment's already there. You don't have you don't have to bring your stuff in is my point. So our stuff stays in the truck except for the guitars and the amplifiers. Uh other than that, all the sound and the sometimes they bring in extra sound, but but mostly the sound and the lights is already stays in the truck and you use their stuff. And Austin City Limits is one of those places so if you don't have to load your own gear in you have a lot more time on your hands so it's either sit in the bus and watch movies or play back then it was nintendo i think might have been atari no <laughs> i don't think it was atari but I'm, I'm sure there was atari in some of the buses but or i think we had nintendo i don't remember which version but uh Sometimes you sit in the bus, if you had a bus, we had a truck, but it also had, you know, TV in it. And sometimes you sit there and you got nothing to do and the band will come in and do a sound check. Well, the sound check may be around three, it may be around five o'clock. So you don't know, man, you, but you got to go sound check. And then after sound check, sometimes the band will go back to the, hotel or sometimes they just stick around and hang around a lot of times they hung around and one time we went there with don williams and i got a lot of stories about don williams I already told you that didn't i so uh but that's where we went to austin city limits with and i've been there a few others but uh this time it was don so you know you load in to a show and then you set everything up and you focus the lights. And once the lights are focused, you kind of go repair stuff or you do whatever needed to do to keep you maintain the, the system that you're traveling with. Well, a lot of times you have some spare time in the afternoon before the show. You know, you take a little dinner break and, and you got a, maybe an hour to kill, maybe. And then uh, you, you, you take a break, so you do things, and, and the band, you know, they'll come in a lot of times for sound check, and when they come in for sound check, some of them go back to the hotel, some of them don't. Some of the ones that stick around, you know, they have a bus, their bus is there, so they can hang out on their bus or do whatever they want to do. Well, one time, a friend of mine was the guitar player, for the band that I was working for. And uh, we decided we go toss a football backstage. 
So we're throwing football, and I, I love to throw a football. To me, playing catch with football is, I'd rather do that, you know, to kill time other than play golf, which you did a lot of that too. But this particular time, I threw the ball a little, a little low, and the guitar player reached down to get it and broke his finger. <laughs> I know I felt horrible and I got to tell you the artist was not happy at all not happy at all and I wanted to tell y'all not just about the breaking the finger but that's just the, the kind of stuff we did you know like I told you about the time with shooting water guns with Lori Morgan you know you had got to have fun while you're out there so we did we had, we had fun we did things and then we also you know some a lot of times you you knew people in certain cities and you'd invite them to the show well you know you learn pretty quickly usually you just get them tickets because you don't want them to have passes because a lot of these people take advantage of a situation everybody a lot of people think that backstage is nothing but a bunch of topless girls and and partying and drinking well that that's not the way it is and i mean usually you just see people sitting on cases waiting for the show to go on or waiting for something to happen so there's not a lot of stuff going on backstage there's mainly a lot of work and and if there's no work you'll see them sitting on the cases but mainly it's all work and a few times yeah you see a few back there but not you know especially not i don't know about nowadays i haven't been on the road in a while but when we was out there it happened a little bit but you know you bring your friends in and i had some friends come in to uh don williams was playing at uh austin city limits and they were filming the show so when they filming it wherever it used to be i don't know where it is now I don't know if it's in the same building or or not but where it used to be they would have tables out like it was like a dance floor, but they had tables out there. And then they had seats like theater seating behind that. And these little, like a dinner theater kind of. But uh, so I got some of my friends that I hung out with when I wasn't on the road. I got them some tickets to Austin City Limits. And that was a huge mistake <laughs> so i mean i got on front row and one of them tables right there in the front and don williams is you know 15 feet away maybe maybe less so they get liquored up and then they start saying where's howie we want howie you know and Howie is what they called me when I was younger. You know, my last name's Howard, and they used to call me Howie. Well, they called me Howie Baby because one time they were calling me Howie, and this girl goes, oh, your name's Howie? I went, Howie Baby, to you. Just kidding. And then so everybody since then called me Howie Baby. So they weren't, that's what they were yelling at Austin City Limits right there. Where's Howie Baby? We want Howie Baby. You know, and it was just really, really embarrassing. And Don, you know, I think you ran the lights from out in the house, so Don would be looking around the stage <laughs> for me because he knew what my nickname was. But it's just stuff like that that goes on backstage. So, you know, there, there, there's some other stuff that go on. But, and then there's times like the, my uncle had his boss, I got him tickets to the show. And right before the show, you know, you could see where their tickets were. And you're way up in the back over the audience sometimes. And that's why I was up there and I'd take the spotlights. I would get on the headphones and say, hey, man, real tight spotlight, that guy in the third row on the fourth seat over. You know, and he, the spotlights would light him up. And this is, you know, why the house lights are on, of course. Not during the show. You would never do that during the show. 
But, you know, and, and you can do stuff like that when your friends come. So it, it can be a lot of fun when your friends come. It can be a nightmare when your friends come. But I just kind of thought I'd throw that out there for you all because that's just the kind of stuff that goes on. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff <laughs> that goes on, I know. But I'm slowly getting into this and getting back into it, I should say. And I, I'm fixing to do some more, do some camera work and all that. It's just been uh, a while. And I'm getting back into it. So thanks for watching. And see you later. Bye. And don't forget, thumbs up. Not down, up. Up, up. And all that stuff. I'll probably cut this out. <laughs> okay. So there, that's it. See you later. Bye.